I'm Stephen, USS Robinson, and you're watching Sport Night Times. Papa! <laughs> Okay, so Tyson Fury, in true Tyson Fury style, he takes to his social media, where he seems to be uh, living nowadays, showing everybody what it is that he's doing, which is fine, I suppose, that's what it's for. But on Instagram and Twitter, he's put out a poll about Anthony Joshua, thus continuing this 15 million step aside story, that yes, we know Anthony Joshua has somewhat denied, we'll talk about that in a second. But Tyson Fury's put out a poll, will the bum step aside? Yes, he will. No, he won't. And I'm injured. I don't know what the injured option's for. I can't get my head around that bit. Maybe I'm just not thinking straight. I don't know. Can someone clarify that for me in the comment section, please? Now, Tyson, he's not going to post the results because the results are not going the way that he was hoping. Yep, so I'll show them for you. There you go. Most people don't believe Anthony Joshua will take step aside money. Okay. Now, Anthony Joshua... Is he going to take step aside money? Of course. We've all seen the Snapchat video. I felt, of course, they've posted it onto their own YouTube channel, which is what I've held to with quite a lot of people's social medias, even though it's actually illegal to do that here on YouTube now. But you know what? It's a good way of making money off other people's content. Now, Anthony Joshua in that Snapchat video says that he's received no kind of offer about 15 million and all that kind of stuff. And you shouldn't believe all these kind of stories. It's all BS. If I say something, then you know it's true. If you haven't heard me say it, then it's not true. That's pretty much what it is Anthony Joshua saying, which is kind of fair enough. Personally, I would have preferred Anthony Joshua to have said, I've received no offer. And even if I did, I ain't going to accept it. I want that rematch with Alexander Usyk. I want redemption. I don't care what offer they put through for step aside. But because he said it the way that he did it, it's open for interpretation of, well, I haven't received an offer, but maybe if they sent through an offer, I might. I'd rather he just close that chapter. Anyway, now, one thing that I did respond to Tyson Fury with, which was, so you're willing to pay Anthony Joshua 15 million pounds, which is around $20 million, yes? So you're willing to pay Anthony Joshua $20 million to step aside so you can go fight Usyk. But yet you wasn't willing to pay Wilder the 20 million that apparently Wilder asked for, Fury's own words, so you can go fight Anthony Joshua for Undisputed and thus earning between 75 and 100 million for the first fight and should you have won the first fight, get 60% for the rematch. So even more money, right? Now, whether or not Wilder really wanted 20 minutes to step aside i don't know i don't know where tyson fury got that number from was he lying probably but the fact is if he wasn't lying and wilder did really want 20 minutes to step aside he said i'm not willing to pay him 20 minutes to step aside i'd rather pay him in ass whoopings or worse to that effect so when you compare the kind of money that Tyson Fury would have made for an undisputed fight against Joshua for, with an undisputed fight against Usyk, which fight do you think that he would have earned more money in? Pretty obvious, really, isn't it? It's a Joshua one. So why is it that you were willing to pay Joshua 20 million to step aside so you can go fight Usyk, but he wasn't willing to pay 20 million to Wilder so you can go fight Joshua? Why? I'm getting the impression with Tyson Fury that he's turned into a Deontay Wilder. Wants to talk a lot, don't want to do a lot when it comes to Anthony Joshua. He'd rather somebody else step in, beat Anthony Joshua, and then try and claim credit for it. Well, if he beat Joshua, imagine what I would do. Therefore, I don't have to fight him. I'm already better than him, clearly. Because obviously there's enough nutcases out there to... Just believe anything that Tyson Fury will say, or again, not just Fury, but, but anybody would say without having to prove it. I'm one of these people of, well, prove it. If you're better than Joshua, prove it. I don't care if Joshua lost to Ruiz. I don't care if he lost to Alexander Usyk. I don't care if he loses to his next three or four fights. Cool. 
If one of those names is not Tyson Fury, then I still need to see Tyson Fury beat him so I know Tyson Fury's better. That's just me, okay? You don't get credit for maybe you'll beat somebody. You get credit for actually beating somebody. Now, also, as a side note as well on this one, it's one thing for Anthony Joshua to take step aside. It's another thing for Dillian White to take it as well. So for him to fight Usyk, it's not just Joshua that has to take step aside. Dillian White does too. Because there's a bit of a misconception, and I've been seeing it over like the last 24 hours or so, which is that people are dropping comments to me saying, well, unification trumps mandatories. Undisputed trumps mandatories. So therefore, if Joshua agrees, then Dillian White gets absolutely nothing. He has no choice. Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Nothing that Dillian White can do about it. Wrong. Wrong. And wrong again. I wish people would just do the basic research before they drop a comment with things like that. Unifications do not officially trump mandatories. They don't. That is not a rule by any sanctioning body. Any. It's up to the, dis the discretion of the sanctioning body as to whether or not they accept that. Not my opinion, it's in their rule books. All of them. It's in their rule books. Now, don't get me wrong, if there's a, an, an opportunity for a unification and there's a mandatory challenger there, 99 out of 100 times, yes, the sanctioning body would allow the unification over the mandatory. They would, but they don't have to. So again, let's just put that little misconception to bed. So therefore, because the WBC gave Tyson Fury 30 days to negotiate with Alexander Usyk, he did nothing. He didn't even approach Alexander Usyk within those 30 days. The 30 days passed, the WBC ordered Tyson Fury to defend that belt against his mandatory and interim challenger, Dillian White. As soon as that order was put in place, Tyson Fury could not fight in any unification or anybody for that WBC belt except Dillian White, unless Dillian White agrees to step aside. Okay? Pretty basic stuff, really. I don't know how some people don't know about that, but yeah, act like experts in the comment sections. Just do just a little bit of research. Just take two minutes out of your day to find that answer out. Okay? Anyway, back onto it. So why is Tyson Fury doing this? Just clout chasing Anthony Joshua's name. That's the reality of it. Whether you think Tyson Fury is better than Anthony Joshua or not, doesn't really matter. When it comes to numbers, Anthony Joshua is the numbers man. He is the pay-per-view superstar. He's on a whole other stratosphere when it comes to Tyson Fury with pay-per-views. Joshua is on another stratosphere to everybody outside of Canelo Alvarez. So no, it's not a dig at Tyson Fury. It's just Anthony Joshua is the numbers man. Okay? So either way... I don't know why he's done that. Surely he's seen Anthony Joshua's Snapchat. Unless, of course, something's going on behind the scenes that Dylan White's not privy to, or um, clearly we're not privy to, or quite a few other people are not privy to. Maybe Anthony Joshua is willing to take a step aside. We don't know. We really don't know. I mean, I would imagine probably not. After all the messing about Tyson Fury done with him, why would he want to do Tyson Fury a favour? For what? But anyway, as, as I said before, why is Tyson Fury willing to pay Anthony Joshua $20 million, £15 million to step aside so he can go pick up peanuts in comparison to what he would have got had he paid Wilder the $20 million to step aside so he can go fight Joshua for Undisputed? Why is that? Again, it's not about whether or not Wilder did really want $20 million or not. Fury's own words, Wilder wanted 20 million to step aside. So let's take him for his word. Why weren't you willing to pay it then? Tell you why. Because you never fancied the Anthony Joshua fight, did you? You see Usyk as a small, easier fight. Less dangerous. Because he ain't a big puncher. That's the reality of it. Joshua is a big puncher. Or, of course, maybe he's just scared of Dillian White. Maybe. So he's doing everything he can to the point where he's actually willing to pay step aside to Anthony Joshua just so he can avoid Dillian White. Listen, Tyson Fury has history of ducking fires. He does. Like it or not. Doesn't matter how good he is. 
And, I, and I've never chastised his ability in the ring. As a person, he's a bit of a prat. Quite clearly, right? Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.